Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is me once again, Mommy Grace, and today it's totally a different video. I don't have Louis Vuitton in front of me or we're not traveling. So this is more an intimate video that's been requested by some of my friends and some of my YouTube subscribers. Anyways, so yes, hindi po bag na sa harap natin ngayon, kundi chicken, right? Chicken, this too big chicken. So, oops, let's wipe that off. Um, so yes, guys, today magluluto tayo kasi it's a special. It's um, my husband and I's ninth year anniversary. Yay! Yes, yes, thank you, Daddy Miles, for your endurance and patience. For all these years, you know, yung mga topak-topak ko dyan, di ba? Pero buti na lang, mabait, mabait si Daddy Mal. Sobra. He's, he's truly a blessing from God. So, anyways, today's guy, um, today's, today's guys, <laughs> nagbubulol na ako. So, today, like I said, magluluto tayo ng uh, very quick, easy, and yet yummy meal, di ba? Um, so, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I usually prepare a meal and how I prepare my dining table because some of my friends on Facebook uh, has been asking me or has been asking me uh, to share kung paano ko siya din decorate I love to entertain myself <laughs> yes I do um, I love to entertain guests but because of, of COVID it's been what almost a year and a half now na wala tayong bisita, walang ganap-ganap dyan. So, ayan. Pero at least, I still, um, I still do entertain my family, you know, especially for special occasions, right? And this meal right here, I'm gonna share with you guys. It's very, very quick, easy and simple. And then, after that, we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to set up the table and maybe we'll do a quick um, dessert. Okay, so, let's start na po tayo. Okay, so... Right in front of me, guys, I have two big, massive chicken right here. And as you can see, or as you notice, um, marinated na po siya. I already pre-marinated this yesterday. So first, we have to deto the chicken. Make sure it's totally thawed out. Thawed out. <laughs> and then after that, I did a dry rub marinade. So... Um, with the marinade I use for this, again, very, very simple and basic, and you guys for sure have those ingredients. So, garlic, salt, pepper, and paprika. When it comes to salt, the best thing that you can use is rock salt. So, you have to be very generous putting a lot of rock salt with your chicken. And, and don't forget to put all the seasoning as well inside. So if you also have a preferred seasoning or herbs, whatever, feel free to use whatever you like according to your taste. So actually, walang limitations when it comes to um, um, seasoning your chicken. So, okay, like I said, pre-marinated is always good because it will, it will be very, very tasty once you cook um, your meat the next day, you know, for... For the dinner or for whatever event that you're gonna plan and then for side dishes just to be very very quick um we'll do the brussels sprouts my husband loves brussels sprouts so um we'll we'll do all the prep for that so brussels sprouts cranberry cherries this one did bits of bacon you can also cook you know bacon but again let's do it quick we're trying to make a quick one. So, yes, we already have a pre-made one. And then pecans, right? Pecans right there. And for the gravy of this and the secret of this um, chicken uh, rotisserie or chicken... I forgot the word. <laughs> um, oven chicken or something. Kasi wala talaga akong... I don't really have a name for, for my um, recipes, guys. I just create recipes along the way so i don't really have a name but maybe you guys can make or give me the name for this one's for this one after okay once it's finished so cream of mushroom in can this one is from kroger or we call uh you know kroger smiths here in utah so yes so we have three cans of cream of mushroom 
Okay, so now I already preheated my oven for 400 degrees. Um, it's been set there. Uh, usually, pag isa lang yung chicken nyo, maybe 350, you know, but I have two big ones right here and it's almost 330. So I'm kind of running late or I'm kind of running behind. So yes, I have to turn it up and then I'll sh show you a couple of technique later on how to not burn your chicken or to make sure that your chicken is, you know, cooked and not burned, you know, with uh, 400 degrees. Okay, so let's do it now. Let me ponytail my hair because ayun natin malagyan tayo ng mga, you know, uh, residue. Ang galing din natin yung ring. I already washed my hands, guys, so yes. So inside cavity of the chicken, then you put your cream of mushroom inside okay and again the chicken must be seasoned very very good or generously with your um, herbs and spices so look at that guys see that it doesn't look appealing right now but it will be and it's gonna be tasty okay so now it's time to put this in the oven and the remaining will be later, okay? I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so ayan guys, we already put the chicken in the oven. Uh, we're gonna leave that, like I said, for another um, hour, maybe hour and a half before we flip the, the chicken, the bird. Now we're working on the side dish. So I showed you guys earlier um, when they were still packaged and um, now I already pre-cut them. So this is the, the Brussels sprouts right here. And then I have the dried cranberries here, the pecans, um, and then the roasted or bits of bacon. So with your um, Brussels sprouts, because some Brussels sprouts, they are big. So, you know, I don't usually cook whole Brussels sprouts, right? You must cut them at least in half. So take, take the edge off, cut them in half. And then um, you mga excess leaves, that's fine. Um, you don't want that, you know, because unless it's organic, then that's totally, totally acceptable. So, okay, see, very easy and quick. So later on, I think this is gonna be the last that we're gonna cook um, because this is very, very quick. Okay, so now let's move on to the dining. What time is it now? It's 3.50 and Daddy Mouse is gonna be coming home in an hour or so. Hopefully, we can execute this little um, surprise for him. Okay? You guys ready to set up the dining? Let's go. Okay, guys. So now we are in my dining area. Um, one of my favorite spot or place in, in our house. Because I love, love, love to entertain guests. And like I said, unfortunately, it's been, you know, it's been restricted due to COVID. So... Um, I haven't had any guests uh, for the past year now other than my family. But it, it, it doesn't stop me from entertaining, you know, my family. And that's the reason why you have, um, you know, you want to cook and you have nice stuff. It's, it's to entertain mainly your family, right? It doesn't have to be showing off to other people. That's, that shouldn't be the case, you know. Um, whenever you put on some good spread, it should be for your family. It should be for your children, because they are special, you know, they are your special loved ones and you should always um, give them the best and something memorable for them, you know, to treasure. Uh, I hope I can share with you guys some of the tips and ways on how I decorate or I have or how I prepare my dining whenever, um, you know, whenever we have a celebration or, you know, birthdays, anniversary, Valentine's, Christmas, especially Christmas, right? So, um... Again, like I said, um, decorating or designing or setting up your dining on a budget. So, for example, this balloon right here, right? It doesn't have to be extravagant, expensive, big balloons. But, so we picked this one. You know, it's only $3. It says happy anniversary, gold. So we're doing a gold theme, right? Not pink. It's not, it's, it can't be pink right now. And then a dollar a piece for this three pieces, um, balloons. Um... And then flowers, okay, okay. One of the main key um, thing 
that elevates a simple dining is to have flowers, right? I mean, even though you're only using paper plates or kahit um, mumurahin lang yung, you know, kahit regular plates lang, you can elevate your dining by putting flowers as your centerpiece. And it doesn't have to be a very expensive bouquet of flowers. For example, so today I asked Carla to um, do a quick errand for me. And it just happened, because most of the times, you know, stores, they do have a clearance or on sale flowers. And when she showed this to me, I was like, yes, get that one. You know, so pretty much this is uh, the leftovers for sure you know, last Valentine's. So see this guys, right there. Um, and this one is only, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see, but I hope you just believe me, right? This is $3.99 per bouquet or a bundle. For the pink rose, it's $2.99. For the yellow one, same thing, $2.99. Look, how pretty is this? And actually, mas mahal pa <laughs> This one is more expensive. This is $4 for this one, but either way, I mean, for four bundles of flowers, it's pretty much less than $20. And we are just gonna put these flowers together, you know? Um, but I am not a good flower arranger. That's not my forte. Pretty much just put it in there, right? Uh, I'm not picky. But at least that's how you save. So just go to your store and look for cheap flowers. And as long as you have fresh flowers, Again, it does elevate the look. It, it, it looks like you're putting an effort on a simple dining or, you know, whenever you invite your friends. It looks like at least you're preparing for them and you're putting an effort to entertain them, right? It's very welcoming. Oh, oh by the way, guys, um, if you guys are uh, curious about my plates, um, if you're follow me, following me on Facebook or Instagram, um, for sure you have seen some of my plates or arrangement. Um, today we're not gonna make it lavish, right? But yes, see, see, um, this plates that I have, I collected this throughout the years while we were in um, Europe. So yes, I love the blue onion pattern. Um, this is the. I'll try to pronounce it right. Okay, this is the swivel mooster, cobalt. It's a cobalt piece. So this is from Germany, guys. So I have a collection of them right here, but I kind of took some of them down because the last earthquake that we had here in Utah, I was petrified that this thing, this massive curio is gonna collapse. I don't really care about everything that's in the curio. I'm just really worried of this massive piece of furniture, you know, and I have the children or, you know, anyways, so I took some down and some of them are in my storage or on the bottom part. But I do. If you guys are interested for me to show some of my um, collectibles, like my um, ceramic collectibles, leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to share it with you guys. And again, it's an accommodation of collecting these, uh, these pieces for the past eight years. So it's not just one time sitting, okay? I love to go flea market. So that's my thing. So here it is guys that's the table setting very simple right very simple but it looks very nice so we have candle setting there the drinks see that beautiful um, napkin holder that I got all the way back from Italy and it stands then the plate 
And then of course a simple glass to drink. Hi Cass. Hi. And the fruit tart right there looks yummy. The flowers, there you go. I just arranged the flowers. Yes. Then the balloons right there. Happy like anniversary. The My favorite part is the pie. And then this, the kids made this decoration right there. Chocolates, combination of gold and blue, perfect color. Okay, thank you girls for helping. You're you guys welcome. hungry? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, we have to wait for daddy. Daddy's running late. Okay, guess what? You guys are allowed to get one chocolate each. <laughs> okay, get some chocolates. Thank you guys, you. you're welcome. Hmm. I might take one. Okay, guys, so I am Asha. Back again in the kitchen. Um, look at that, guys. Oops, 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 oops. Look how golden is this chicken. Let me let me show you guys. See that? It looks beautiful. Isn't it? That bird looks really, really good. Okay, let's flip the bird. And I hope. And I hope. I don't destroy it, right? Because it's so beautiful. We cannot afford to destroy this beautiful bird. Mm -mm -mm. Ready? Okay, there we go. Now, let's flip this bad boy right here. So, para maluto naman yung kanyang, kanyang side, di ba? Um, bloody pa yung kanyang loob, so make sure we make sure that we cook. We make sure that we cook all the way, right? So let's do another timer for maybe thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, and then we'll flip again, so we can just brown or broil the chicken. Okay, guys. So while the chicken is um still in the oven and it's almost ready now it's time for us to do our side dish okay so i have it here right next to me <clears throat> that's why it's hard for me to do a cooking video guys because a totally opposite yung aking kitchen so please uh, bear with me okay we're trying to make things work so that's it just put ghee or any or butter or olive oil you should be good um let's do the pecan first Pecan. How do you say pecan? Pecan. Okay, let's do the pecan first and let's kind of roast um, the pecan or fry a little bit. That way it will be crunchy and the oil of the, the pecan will come out, you know, will be pulled out of the, the nut and it will be tasty. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, now lagay na natin yung Brussels sprouts. Ooh! Ayan na siya! Maingay na siya! Yan, pag maingay na, hindi sabihin, sunog na. <laughs> ah. Okay, hindi naman siya sunog. Hindi naman siya sunog. Ooh. Sige, pakita ko sa inyo sandi. Ayan. Kita nyo guys, ayan siya. Oh, diba? Okay, lakasan natin ng konti. Sorry, sorry po. Sorry po, sorry po. Ayan, ang dilim talaga oh. Ayan. Lumiliwanag ba? Ayan. Lumiliwanag na. Okay. So, we roast. Parang we roast mo lang siya. Para naman may crunch yung ating Brussels sprouts. Medyo okay na siya. Medyo roasted na yung itsura. I'll show you guys. So, medyo kita nyo yung mainit. Ay, 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 hindi siya nagpo-focus. Pero yung kita nyo siya, oh, medyo nag-roast, uh, nag-brown um, na yung ating Brussels sprouts. So, pwede na siya. Let's put a few bacon para lang, ano, may lasa. Or that way the taste of the bacon will sit in there. See that? So, now, um, we'll put it in the oven and then later on, whenever we're ready to serve or ready to eat, then we will um, toss the balsamic vinegar there and kind of just, you know, like toss it together to, to flavor, to flavor the Brussels sprouts. Okay, so 
Cover natin siya. Let's cover it. That way, it doesn't uh, burn. Okay, so my chicken, it needs to be um, turned over now. So we'll do that too. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you guys ready? Now let's, oops, open this. Bad boy, woo! There you go. Right there. And now let's flip again the chicken. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Ooh, perfect. It didn't. I'll show you guys in a few. Hindi na ripped off the skin. It's still intact. That's why you want to do that technique first, right? You want to do the um, the chest or... Is that the chest? How about you? You want to do this the top part first first you want to do that that way there you go that way hindi masira yung ating skin right so whenever we plate it looks presentable so that's a trick that's the trick pretty much oh my goodness look at look at this guys oh tingnan nyo see the skin is still intact you know it's still there and it doesn't look burnt at all. So now, um, we'll just leave this inside uh, until Daddy Miles um, arrives. I think we're pretty much done. Yep, it is done. So now we're going to turn the oven low. Okay, guys. So last but not the least, my kids love some... Um, iced coffee or frappuccino or however you call it right like i said it's my version so there's really no name or recipe for it but i'll share it to you guys how i do it so here i already made a decaf decaffeinated coffee right you don't want to serve your kids caffeine and they're going to be jumping around like monkeys you know all night long and also i already mixed this with um sugar so this one is still hot, but it's okay because we have a lot of ice right here. So it's hot and it's okay, right? And you want to dissolve the sugar while your coffee is hot. So pretty much the same. This kind of like what I do when I make the tiramisu, right? So I think that's good enough. Okay, so I have with me here my Vitamix that stood the test of time. I've had this now for... Whew. Seven years, seven years, right? Okay, we'll do this. Okay, see this guys? Mmm, smells good. So this is just all coffee. I haven't added the milk yet. It smells good, it's so foamy. See that? Um, okay, let's do the tasting first. Hmm, that's good. That's good. It's good. It's good. We'll add this, um, the rest of the ingredients, and then with when it when it comes to putting sugar, um, you don't want to put a lot of sugar right away. You wanna taste as you um, you know as you blend the coffee. So, okay guys, um, I'll get back to you once this is all done. Um, my husband should be home pretty soon. We're all hungry. Honey, hurry home. <laughs> okay guys, so we've, we're finished with the, um, with the iced coffee. So, as you guys can see, I transferred. So from this, oh, it's hot, yeah. <laughs> so from this um, Pyrex glass, Pyrex glass. I transferred the chicken to my serving. This is now going to be my serving dish. Um, it looks beautiful. I also drizzled um, or baked the chicken with a little bit of the sauce because we're still going to leave this in the oven until you know until we're ready to serve. That way, it will not dry. Um, so, okay. So we'll put this back. 
in the oven. And then we'll do the gravy. I'll show you quickly how to do the gravy. So the leftover juice of the chicken, that's the one that we're gonna use as a gravy. Right there. Okay. It's not a lot because the rest is still, you know, I have to put the rest in the chicken so it will not dry. Now let's throw the rest of our mushroom. Turn this on. There you go. We're done. We're pretty much done. And then we'll just leave this as is. Transfer this to a serving, um, serving, what do you call that? Dito, nandale. Transfer natin dito, di ba? Magic genie, tawag dito. Ano ba tawag dyan? Comment nyo nga, ano ba yan? Nakalimutan ko na. Okay, so, yan. Okay na yan, guys. Luto na. Tikman nga natin. Mmm, masarap. Mmm, masarap siya, masarap siya. Hindi siya, it's not too salty. It's perfect. Okay lang tikman yan kasi luto na. The, the sauce is already cooked. So, don't, don't try it or don't taste it unless your chicken is fully cooked. Or else magkaroon ka ng salmonella. Okay? Okay. So, are you guys ready? We're just gonna play. Daddy's home. And then we'll sing happy birthday. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna sing happy birthday. Um, yeah, kaina tayo. Okay. ready and we're gonna eat thank you for watching once again bye bye it's only carla's hand <laughs> bye. bye bon appetit